A spinner has eight sections of equal size uh, numbered one through eight. The pointer spun one time. So I drew a picture of this over here. It might not be perfect, but just to give us an idea of the spinner. <clears throat> How many equally likely outcomes are there for your experiment? So there are eight because it's broken into eight spaces. And what is the sample space? So each the outcomes that are equally likely are one, Okay, so they're all listed. What is the probability that the pointer lands at, on a three? Well, so there's only one three in our sample space. The probability of that is one third, uh, sorry, one eighth. What's the probability that the pointer lands on a three or a seven? So three or a seven, that will be two eighths, which is equal to one fourth. What is the probability probability that the pointer lands on an odd number. So we can count up the odd numbers. We've got four of them. So four eighths, which is equal to one half. What is the probability that the pointer lands on a three or an odd number? Well, three is an odd number. Um, so we're doing the or. So that sticks with the four eighths, um, which is one half. This time it says, what's the probability the pointer lands on a three or an even number? That makes our set five eighths, because there's five choices. Okay. If you bet one dollar on a color um, in a spin of a roulette wheel, and then you then you will either win $1 or lose $1. The probability is 20 38ths that you will lose $1 and 18 38ths that you will win $1. What does it mean um, to say that the probability of winning $1 is 0.474? Um, if you were to explain this to someone without a knowledge of statistics. Well, remember, probability is the long run um, it's what's happening in the long run. So if you were to do this experiment over and over and over again, you know, say you were to spin the, the roulette wheel a thousand times or more, um, then the pro you would win, you would probably win about um, $1 474 times out of the thousand. So it's in the long run what's going to happen. Suppose I tell you that I flipped a coin multiple times and get 75% heads. Would you be reasonably convinced that this was not a fair coin? Um, where fair means that the coin has a 50-50 chance of landing heads or tails? If so, explain why. If not, describe what additional information you would ask for and explain why that information is necessary. So... All it tells me is that I flipped it multiple times, and it doesn't tell me how many times I flipped this coin. So I feel like I'm not convinced until I know that I've flipped the coin a lot of times. So I would need my um, number of flips to be very large um, to convince me that um, this is not a fair coin if I got 75%. Remember that in the long run, your um, empirical probability, what you're observing, uh, equals your theoretical probability, what's actually um, happening with your coin.